Hello everyone! Welcome to your post-workout stretching routine that will help your body and mind to gradually slow down and it will loosen up your muscles to reduce the chance of injury. And now, let's begin! We will start in a seated cross-legged position with your hands resting on your knees. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, gently drop your chin toward your chest. Begin to slowly circle your head around, feeling the release in your neck and shoulders. Take your time with this movement and switch directions after a few circles. Beautiful. From here we'll move into some side body stretches, so reach your left arm up and over your head, lengthening through your left side body. Keep your right hand on the ground and gently lean to the right side, feeling the stretch in your left side body. Hold it here, taking deep breaths in and out. And now switch sides, reaching your right arm up and over and leaning to the left. And release. Wonderful. Now sit on the floor with your left leg straight, crossing your right knee over your left leg and place your right foot on the floor. Place your right hand beside your right hip or slightly behind you. As you exhale, rotate to the right and draw your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Breathe deeply while holding this position. And release. Wonderful. Now switch sides and repeat the same exercise, bending your left leg and twisting to your left side this time. Beautiful. From here, let's move into downward facing dog to stretch out your hamstrings and calves. Come onto your hands and knees and then lift your hips up and back, coming into an inverted V shape. Paddle your feet back and forth, releasing any tightness in your legs.
beautiful. Release. Transfer into your high plank position. From here, step your right foot in between the hands. Lower your left knee to the floor, sliding the foot back until you feel a nice stretch in the left hip and thigh. Make sure that your right knee is stacked directly over the right ankle, keep the hips low and level with each other. Draw your shoulder blades together to open up your chest. Look straight ahead and breathe deeply in and out, letting your hips sink into the floor. Wonderful. Release. Switch sides and repeat the same stretch with your other leg. Make sure that your left knee is stacked directly over the left ankle. Beautiful. Now come on to all fours position. On an exhalation, begin to walk your hands out in front of you. Allow your chest to melt toward the floor as you slowly release your forehead to the mat. Make sure that your hips are above your knees. Keep your arms active and don't let your elbows touch the ground. Drop your forehead to the floor, letting yourself completely relax into the pose. Wonderful. Release and start slowly shifting forward to lying on your belly. Place your elbows under your shoulders and your forearms on the mat. Press down through your forearms, engage your lower back and shoulders to raise your chest and arms off the floor to the point when you feel your lower back muscles contracting. Hold it here, breathing in and out. Beautiful. From here, slowly transfer into lying on your back position. Lift your right leg and cross it over the other, keeping your knee bent. Your ankle should rest on your thigh just above your left knee. Thread your right arm through your legs and interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Gently pull your left thigh towards your body as far as you can comfortably go, feeling a nice stretch. Check your lower back and make sure you're still laying flat against the mat. You don't want to arch your lower back. And release. Now from the same starting position, bend your right leg. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, keeping your feet flexed. Thread your left arm through your legs and interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Draw your thigh towards you as you relax your shoulders and arms. The closer you bring your legs to your chest, the deeper the stretch. As you exhale, let go of any tension out from your hips and lower back.
and release. Wonderful. Now bend both of your knees, feet planted a bit wider than hip width apart. Keep feet on the floor, flop both knees over to one side. Don't worry if they don't touch the floor. Just let gravity pull your legs towards the ground. The outside leg is in external hip rotation and the inside leg is in internal hip rotation. And change the side, continuing in the same rhythm. And release. Amazing. Slowly return back to child's pose. Breathe in and out. Along with deep breathing, this beautiful pose can calm your mind, reducing anxiety and fatigue. So stay here and allow yourself to relax completely. And release. Beautiful. Now take a moment to show some self-gratitude for this time you offered yourself, for your motivation, for the attention you gave to yourself. I thank you for practicing with me and I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the new video updates. And your comments can help my channel grow, so if you'll write me a feedback, I will truly appreciate it. Bye!